and uh, welcome to the ASICS Signing Day Special. I'm Christian Piles, and I'm joined today by the number one ranked 132 pounder in the country, three-time Oklahoma State champion Dayton Fix. Uh, Dayton, how you doing? I'm doing pretty good. How about you? Doing good. Doing good. Glad to be here. Uh, Dayton, you've been, you maintain an extremely busy traveling schedule. You travel all over the country, all around the world, wrestled at France this summer. When did you start to really start figuring out or start really thinking strongly about where you were going to wrestle? Uh, so whenever I got back from Junior Worlds, those the next like six weekends, I was gone on recruiting trips and everything. So just really right after Junior Worlds. Yeah, okay. What did a, a school have to have, like bottom line, for you to consider them? Uh, I mean, I just wanted to go to a place that I was going to become the best wrestler and the best person yeah yeah um how difficult was it for you you know there's a, there's a lot of schools i'm sure you received a phone call from every division one coach there is how hard was it for you to narrow down that list i mean it was really hard there's so many great schools and it really sucks because you have to get rid of all those other schools and just choose one right right um when, when you look at some of the teams you considered um many of them have a lot of talent in the lighter weights where, where you're going to be competing um, a lot of recruits, that's going to shy them away from that school. Why didn't that kind of turn you a different direction? I mean, if I'm wrestling with guys in the room that can go right with me, then I'm going to get better every day. Yeah, yeah, makes a lot of sense. Um, is redshirting something that's that's important to you? Um, it's just going to be whatever the coaches decide. I mean, if the team needs me, then I'll wrestle. But if they think I should take a redshirt year, then. So you're kind of either way, you're, you're comfortable? Yeah. Okay. And um, a, a lot is made about about your weight. You know, everyone thinks you're you're pretty big, but you you're able to make those lighter weights. Where do you see yourself wrestling weight wise at the Division One level? 125 pounds. 125. Yeah. All right. Okay. Um, you've been super active on the freestyle scene. You're you're um, a junior world bronze medalist, a cadet world bronze medalist. Um, but in college wrestling, a lot of times you'll, you'll see the summers, depending on the school, depending on the kid. They'll use that time to recover for the D1 season. How important is competing for you in the summer, and how much did that factor into your decision? Um, I mean, I love freestyle. That's by far my favorite style. So I'm probably going to want to at least train freestyle if I'm not competing, but I'm going to more than likely try to compete. Yeah. Do you see yourself um, working into the to the senior level sometime soon? Yeah. I mean, I'm really thinking about wrestling, some senior level stuff coming up. So awesome. that'll be good. Awesome. Um, what did you like about the recruiting process? I mean, there's, it's hard not to like it. They take you, they give you the best foods, and <laughs> they just, it's awesome. I mean, they wine and dine you, and... Except for the great. wine, right? Yeah, there's no wine. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, what didn't you like about the recruiting process? Um, that I had to tell four schools that yeah. I, was, I wouldn't be attending their yeah, schools. I'm sure. Um... For, for someone as good as you, I'm, I'm sure the coaches were doing anything they could. What were some <coughs> tactics maybe that some coaches used that, that really kind of turned you off that you didn't like? Um, there wasn't really any tactics that turned me off. It was just really if how comfortable I felt at that school and yeah. who I was talking to. Yeah. Um, for, for you, did you have a clear leader the whole time, or was it something as, you know, I take a trip here, well, maybe I'll go here, and you take another trip, or was it – the same school kind of in the in the lead most of the uh, way it was really pretty even most of the time yeah. I and mean, i was really keeping my options open yeah yeah um at this point right now how many people know your decision uh only a handful of people okay yeah okay all right dayton all these people are here watching for a reason all these people are listening watching on flow wrestling for a reason where are you going uh i'm gonna be attending Oklahoma State University. Right. All right, well, um, obviously, congratulations, Dayton, of a fine choice. You had five um, outstanding choices in, in Oklahoma State, obviously a great one. Um, how, how much of it was, you know, Th that pool there for Oklahoma. You're from Oklahoma. Oklahoma State, legendary tradition. John Smith, you know, your father's tied to the program. Yeah, I mean, it's hard whenever you, you grow up right here and 
you grow up thinking about being a cowboy. You grow up picturing yourself in an orange singlet, and it was just real, real hard to pull me away from that. Yeah, yeah. How um, was there a final, you know, two or three that it came down to? Was it something where you were back and forth towards the end, or was Oklahoma State kind of always, always out in front? They were a little bit out in front, but I was really, I mean, every time I went on a recruiting trip, I went there with an open mind that. I could I could possibly be going at the school. Yeah, um, you, you're a guy that you know you've wrestled at, at junior duels. You've been going to Fargo, even though you were far and away so much better than everyone. But that's kind of a, a team competition. How important is that team component and that Oklahoma component for you? Uh, yeah, it's important. I want to win team national titles, and I feel like we'll be able to at Oklahoma State. Yeah, you've got. I mentioned the room there. You've got Nick Piccinini, Cade Brock, uh, Dean Heil at 141. How excited are you to get in there and, and roll around with those guys? Oh, I'm real excited. Yeah. I mean, I've wrestled with Cade and, and Nick a little bit, but I'm really excited to get in there and start training with them. Yeah. Um, what did Coach Smith say or, or whoever you called when, when you told him you were coming? Oh, there, he was really excited. Yeah. Yeah, I would imagine. Yeah. Right? He probably should be. <laughs> uh, so um, at, at this point, um, do, you, do you have anything else you, you'd like to say before we go? Uh, I just want to thank everybody for coming. It, it means a lot to me that all you guys showed up. And I want to thank all, all the universities that recruited me. It was, it was a really hard decision, but I feel like I made the, the one that was best for me. And I just want to thank everybody. Awesome. Well, Dayton, uh, we really appreciate it. Yeah, you can clap. <laughs> <Woo>! <laughs> And, and on behalf of Flow Wrestling, we're so excited to be here, be a part of your day. Um, congratulations to you. Congrats to Oklahoma State. Um, good luck to you this, this year for, for Charles Page. Thank and um, you. yeah, we'll be seeing you around. Thanks, Dave. Thank you. There's, there's cake involved. Can I get one? Can I get one? Yeah.